breaking right now on Eyewitness News at noon, a former police officer charged with murder. Now the Philadelphia District Attorney says the officer who shot 12-year-old Thomas Sedario knew the young boy was unarmed before shooting him in the back. This is CBS 3 Eyewitness News at noon, now streaming live on CBS News Philly. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jim Donovan. And I'm Janelle Burrell. And we begin with those breaking new developments. Eyewitness News reporter Joe Holden is live for us in Center City. So, Joe, you were there as the district attorney announced these charges just moments ago. What more can you tell us? Well, Jim and jo Janelle, good afternoon to you. Of course, this just happening, ending this news conference within the last 10 minutes. It is a 17 page grand jury presentment. We're going to walk you through some of the details as you've already heard some of the details of this uh, alleged crime are staggering. The district attorney's office characterizing the elements of the alleged crime as disturbing. Here is what we know. Thomas T.J. Sedario, a 12-year-old boy who had been riding his bike in early March, was said to have been killed by a fatal shot to the back, killing him within 90 seconds of having been struck. The grand jury presentment shows Officer Edsall Mendoza chased Sedario at 17th and Barber Streets in South Philadelphia. He had fired at least three shots, according to the grand jury. The third one was the lethal shot. So how does this all begin? The investigation shows four undercover officers were parked in an unmarked car in the area of 18th and Barbara investigating a teen seen with a firearm on social media. That teen was not TJ Sedario, but another young man whom he was with. Now the grand jury finds 12 year old Thomas Sedario first fired a gun into that unmarked unit. One officer was struck by glass. That prompted three of the four police officers who again were undercover to exit the vehicle and begin tactical maneuvers that have been criticized as departmental policy violations. It concludes that Officer Mendoza, who has since been fired from the force, runs onto the sidewalk. The grand jury shows without slowing or reassessing, finding Sidario unarmed and not fleeing, and fires that shot into Thomas Sidario's back from within 10 feet. Let's go ahead and listen to District Attorney Larry Krasner. The gun was sitting on the street below the curb line nearly 40 feet away. Thus, when Officer Mendoza fired the third and fatal shot, he knew the 12-year-old, 5-foot-tall, 111-pound Thomas Sedario no longer had a gun and no ability to harm him. But he fired a shot through his back, nonetheless, that killed him. The medical examiner's office finds that the manner of death is homicide. The grand jury concluding that this is a case of first degree murder. We know that Ed Saul Mendoza surrendered earlier this morning. He is being held without bail at this point. The Fraternal Order of Police is out with a statement at this noon hour. I'll quote here in my email. The accused officer, like every other citizen, is entitled to due process, and we are confident that our judicial system will protect this officer's constitutional right to a fair trial. That is the latest on this breaking story. I'm back at four with more for now live outside the district attorney's office. This is Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Joe, with those breaking details, thank you for that. And a short time ago, Eyewitness News spoke with the great grandmother of Thomas Sedario, and she spoke about the emotion of today's news. I'm happy. That's all I can say right now. I'm so heartbroken. I can't sleep. None of us can sleep. It's horrible. And we will continue following this breaking news throughout the day for you, including more reaction from Sidario's family, who they're expected to speak about this later this afternoon. You can always get the very latest on our streaming service, CBS News Philly, and also on CBSPhilly.com.